mother, my mother's friends, my father's friends, my brother's friends, my sister's my friends, family, my extended and family, everybody, every Iranian American I've known, and every Iranian American I want to know, and beyond. I was hired by Paya as their director of public relations. And uh, while we were brainstorming on the various ways that we could have a uh, PR campaign to basically change our image, enhance our image, make it much more reflective of who we are, we decided to uh, do these profiles of Iranian Americans. Uh, we find uh, Iranian Americans who are breaking barriers and shattering stereotypes and doing amazing things in their own fields. One of the people we decided to start with is Dr. Pardi Sabati from Harvard, uh, who is one of the leading scientists in the field of genetic evolution. Named by CNN one of eight geniuses who will change your life. She is an extraordinary individual, Rhodes Scholar, Harvard MD, Oxford PhD. She also has this amazing musical side to her, too, that I don't want to give away, but I hope you enjoy. the right thing I wanted to do because I liked science and I liked people and I liked interacting. I hope you can hear Something me. had gone wrong and I, I was pretty much like curled up in a ball like on a couch, you know, and I, I was like, okay, and how am I changing the world? I was born in Tehran, Iran. I hope you can hear me. When a bunch of Iranian newspapers started putting pictures, like my dad started collecting them and he never really did that before. <laughs> I remember from an early age when I saw like the theories of evolution and Mendel's like peas and genetics that that really was very neat to me and genetics is probably right there at the boundary of math and biology where you it's really about biology as mathematical information. I, I find actually that you do the things that you love and things come fast. I've always just been really interested in infectious diseases and just um, kind of how much damage they cause and the understanding how to protect people from it. Because if you think about what's one of the most powerful forces affecting humans, it's malaria and TB and HIV that we're interacting with. And there's a bit of an arms race that goes on between us and them trying to survive. So that's what I study. I study how we develop genetic variants to protect us from infectious disease and how infectious diseases and pathogens like malaria, parasite, develop changes to protect themselves from our immune systems and our drugs and stay alive. I think I was always just kind of odd, I would say. You know, there, there's something about coming to a different culture. You don't understand the culture, so you don't know what the boundaries are of culture. Like, I always wanted to do things like boys did, you know, wanting to play sports, wanting to play football and soccer, but also like really obsessed with math um, and always like wanting to talk about math. and. Um, I think a lot more girls now behave this way. I think they've like come to realize that there aren't boundaries. But I think back when I was growing up, that just wasn't it. You know, I, I just had a lot of people being like, no, 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 you don't do that. The thing I feel luckiest about is how much I just love studying and this, the work that I do. Um, and I think that my family instilled that into me, that excitement about work and excitement about learning. Obviously, I hope that all scientists are working towards changing the world in their small way. And uh, so, you know, in maybe in a small way I can, or maybe through my students, I can support something. As you're such a role model for kids these days. And you do everything, and you seem to have such a full life. Well, OK, so I, I always say that I don't really like the idea of a role model. I mean, there's plenty I don't like about myself. There's plenty I would change. I think the most important thing is to excite people to become the best they can be, right? To push to car, dash to bash, to follow your dreams and be persistent in it. You know, the internet makes the world so small. I get emails 
you know, every, almost every day from Iran, from young scientists in Iran and uh, just other, lots of young people, um, and it's wonderful. I was born in Tehran, Iran. I'm very proud of my Iranian heritage. I think most Americans don't really have a sense of who Iranians are. Um, and, you know, they see a lot of what's going on, you know, by the regime and the people in power, and they reflect it to us, but we're very different from, from that. You know, and you see the Iranians in America and how creative they are and how excited they are and how much they get involved in the community, and I think it's a wonderful thing. I have a lot of interests, and it's nice when your interests begin to integrate. Nine Inch Nails got me through my PhD. Um, Prodigy and Fisher Spooner got me through my boards. Music has kind of been the soundtrack of my whole life. You know, every, every major test, every major problem set, every major exam. I was listening to music, but I was never playing. Until I was 21, actually, and in graduate school at Oxford, um, where I started playing. Days go. And a lot of times when I'm doing my best, or my most rigorous scientific work, is where my best music comes from. Is once I get myself into a creative mode, um, all the things start kind of clinging together and different things emerge. I just enjoy writing and thinking, and it's almost my journal entry. It's my journal entry comes out through song. Um, I wrote one of the sort of the hardest songs I've ever written was actually written on the morning that my grandmother passed away. With your kin, it's literally a song about just coming from Boston and within a few days having the storm with inside her just uh, take her away from us. Set you free. The And the very last line in the song is, uh, but only did you die. So just with the hope to see you again. What does the name Paradis mean? Uh, it means paradise. As a professor at a research institution in science, I mean, I get, I get to do the science. I get to do science that's med medically relevant. I get to travel the world and do global health and look into those issues, uh, and I get to teach. I actually realized this year that I happened upon my perfect job. Like, I applied for jobs from a lot of institutions, big institutions, and the fact that somehow they were all very incredibly supportive of my music as well. And so I get to play, and if your work is serious and fundamentally like the most important thing is that you do good science, they allow you to be yourself within that. So I, in five years, I hope to be doing just what I'm doing.